Woo, this is hot. Oh, yeah, this is hot. Yeah, have you ever seen a dipstick, baby? Hello and welcome to another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy, the ultimate interactive pro wrestling trivia challenge where you're the contestant. I am your host, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah. And I just want to tell you guys, I'm proud of you. You guys definitely work hard for the money. Oh, look at here. Business is picking up. And with that, let's go to the board now and check out the categories you'll be quizzed on, starting with it came from Memphis, followed by ladies firsts. Next up, we have repackaged wrestlers and then wellness policy violations. And last but certainly not least, working class heroes. Let me, let me try to do a dream real quick, baby. Let's kick things off with the 200 point jobber round. The easiest round in Wrestling Jeopardy. You should get all five of these questions correct, and if you don't... You know, I get just a little flustered sometimes, so... Can you really call yourself a wrestling fan? You don't you know to, what yeah. hard times are, daddy. All right, so let's jump into it came from Memphis, Tennessee for 200. During his WWE career, Kane was an evil dentist and the fake Diesel, but during a stint in the wacky world of the Memphis-based USWA, he was this... Holiday Horror Show. Dressed up in garland and tinsel in a costume made by his mom. The correct answer, who is the Christmas creature? And that brings us to ladies firsts for 200. In 2004, these two future Hall of Famers main evented Monday Night Raw, a first for WWE women at the time. And the answer, of course, who is Trish Stratus and Lita? Moving on to repackaged wrestlers for 200. Skip Sheffield was repackaged into this wrestler. Yep, yep, yep. Feed me more. The correct answer, who is Ryback? And we're on to wellness policy violations for 200. This wrestler's status as WWE's top dog was put at risk in 2016 when he was suspended 30 days for his first violation of the wellness policy. And the correct answer here, who is Roman Reigns? Suffering succotash, son! And let's finish up the 200 point round. With this clue from Working Class Heroes, this wrestling legend was featured in various vignettes before his 1990 WWF debut, working various common man jobs, such as a gas station attendant and a plumber. No, it's not T.L. Hopper, but it was the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Way back up in the woods among the evergreen. And let's jump back to it came from Memphis for 400. The Hornet, with his bleach blonde flat top and painted face, totally could have passed as a doppelganger for this former WCW World Champion. Now, the Hornet was a young wrestler by the name of Ron Oates, and basically Jerry the King Lawler said, hey, you look like Sting, so why don't you be Sting, and we're going to call you what's, uh, what's dangerous and can sting you. Ah, a Hornet. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Nope. And that brings us to ladies firsts for 400. In August 2018, this woman became Monday Night Raw's first ever full-time female announcer. You could say Mrs. John Moxley. Yep. Or you could call her Renee Young, which is what she was called back in the WWE. Moving on to repackaged wrestlers for 400. Jamal was repackaged into this wrestler. And that would be the Samoan bulldozer who was Umaga. And that brings us to... 
wellness policy violations for four. In February 2011, WWE held a press conference in Mexico City to announce the signing of this wrestler. And four months later, he violated the wellness policy and was suspended. And that suspension led us to the evil Sin Cara. And then when the regular Sin Cara came back, we had the Battle of Sin Caras, like the Spider-Man meme. And let's finish off the 400-point round with working-class heroes. You'd never find Steven Regal pouring juice from a cardboard container, because he would always make his own OJ since he was this kind of working man. And the correct answer here, what is a real math? All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go. Let's jump back to the 600 point round. Kicking things off with it came from Memphis. After wrestling in Memphis as an evil sorcerer named this, Harry Del Rios appeared in the WWF playing a magician named Fantasio and then vanished. A two-time former USWA World Heavyweight Champion, the correct answer, who is the Spellbinder? Ta-da! And we're on to ladies' firsts for 600 in 2016. These two women would settle their differences in the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match. And this bout was between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. And that brings us to repackaged wrestlers for 600. Quang was repackaged into this wrestler. I just love that name, Quang. Like, who thought about that? Pretty, uh, thick athlete. But the correct answer, who is Sabio Vega? And we're on to wellness violations for six. Several WWE superstars were suspended in 2007 after being connected to this pharmacy scandal. Now, there are about 15 WWE superstars who got uh, caught up in this scandal. The big names are Booker T, Edge, and Randy Orton, and a whole bunch got caught up in the signature pharmacy scandal. And let's finish up the 600 point round with this clue from working class heroes, Barry Darso, who worked under several colorful gimmicks during his heyday, such as Smash the Demolition and the Repo Man, portrayed this ornery truck driver in WCW. Now, I don't know if he was that much of a uh, working class hero, but he definitely was a blacktop bully. And we're jumping back to the 800-point clue from It Came From Memphis. <laughs> oh, I am so psyched that the Daily Double is in this category. It came from Memphis, Tennessee. Think about the USWA in the early 90s, if you know anything about the United States Wrestling Association, and place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here is the Daily Double Clue from, it came from Memphis. This Lord of the Volcano is often cited as one of the worst gimmicks that came from Memphis, but also in wrestling history. Having claimed to have roamed the galaxy in search of battle, or the fire of lava. Tagar, Lord of the Volcano, came complete with a shield that shot fireballs and a cheap Party City Halloween mask. The f And we're on to ladies firsts for eight. Natalia and Lacey Evans broke down a huge barrier in 2019 at this Saudi Arabian event. Uh -oh. 
And these two would wrestle at WWE Crown Jewel. Moving on to repackaged wrestlers for eight. Idol Stevens was repackaged into this wrestler. And that would be the savior of the unwashed masses, who is Damian Sandow. Let's pop over to wellness policy violations for eight. This individual holds the dubious honor of being the only referee suspended for a WWE wellness policy violation. Uh, hopefully you didn't say somebody like Tim White, but... The correct answer here, who is Mike Kyoto? And let's close out the 800 point round with a clue from working class heroes from the garbage heaps of this Florida town, the burly rubbish collector, that's very PC of me to say, known as Duke the Dumpster Drossy, was one of the few superstars who literally talked trash. This is actually a real place. Look it up, Google it, called Mount Trashmore. Hey, Loader! And it's time now for the most difficult round in wrestling Jeopardy, the thousand point round. The steel cage begins to lower. The ominous music begins to play. Let's kick things off with the thousand point final clue from It Came From Memphis. This wrestler was able to rip off four different Hall of Fame wrestlers at the same time. Ooh, yeah. <sighs> Woo, brother. During the dying days of the Memphis Territory, the USWA took an overweight journeyman named Michael Imburgia and transformed him into the macho warrior Rick Hogan. And we're on to ladies firsts for 1,000. On Thanksgiving Day in 1987 at the inaugural Survivor Series, this Japanese duo were the sole survivors for their team. Winning the first ever women's five on five elimination match, the Jumping Bomb Angels brought a standard of wrestling that was incredibly ahead of their time, securing their place as perhaps the best women's tag team of all time. And we're moving on to the final clue from repackaged wrestlers. The Flying Nuns were repackaged into this wrestling tag team. Supposedly hailing from a monastery in the Himalayas, Sister Angelica and Mother Smucker didn't last very long and they soon became known as the headbangers. And that brings us to the final clue from wellness policy violations. Suspended for 30 days in January 2020 while he was the United States champion, Andrade was written off television after receiving a hammerlock DDT onto cement by this third generation wrestler. Just one night after retaining the United States Championship at the Royal Rumble, Andrade once again defended his title against Humberto Carrillo and won via DQ. And let's close out the board with the final clue from working class heroes. Clad in jeans, boots, and hard hats, Chris Canyon and Mark Starr strapped on their tool belts and made WCW programming their own personal construction site as this working class team. Not to be confused with the village people, Star and Canyon attempted to take over WCW with hammer strength force, and they could have been a solid team had they been handed anything other than being the men at work. Men at work are not out to lunch here. They kicked in on time. It's not quitting time yet, it's final Jeopardy time. So let's find out what the final Jeopardy category for this episode is. The figure four leg lock. There are a few moves as legendary and feared as the figure four leg lock. 
this agonizing submission hold capable of bending even the most formidable competitors to their will has etched its name in the annals of wrestling history. All right, so think about this legendary submission hold, when it's been used, who's used it in the past, and place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here is the final Jeopardy clue. The very first match in WrestleMania history was won with the figure four leg lock when this wrestler submitted his opponent, the Executioner. Good luck. Even though the figure four was not one of his prime signature moves, as one of the greatest technicians of all time, Tito Santana mastered the leg lock as one of the many ways to win his matches. 